Hey everyone, we're going to have a quick look at how to make more chords. The uh, first step, even if you're a total beginner, doesn't matter. The idea is to download a diagram of the neck with all the notes written on it. And I'm not going to ask you to memorize them, although why not? It's not too difficult. But for instance, if you know that chord, E minor, two notes with the fingers and the rest open strings. If you look at the diagram, it's going to show you that you have E, B, E, G, B, E. So there's three E's, two B's, and one G. So realistically, that's an E minor chord. First thing. If you look at the, um, the diagram of the notes, if that's an E chord, you can look, that note is E. So that's like, that's the root note. So if that's E minor, that's F minor. That's F sharp minor. G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B. A thing you can keep in your head to make this easier and not necessarily need to look at the, 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 the Google image of, Google image? I don't know what I'm talking about the guitar neck um, diagram, which will have all the notes on it. If you keep this in your brain, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. That's all, that's all well and good. That's the C major scale. But between E and F, there is no note in between. Between B and C, there is no note in between. All the other notes, there is a an extra note in between them. So that can help you as well without even looking at the diagram of the notes on the neck. So that's one thing, taking a shape, a smaller shape, bite-sized little chunk. So for instance, now instead of playing maybe A minor here, I'm gonna go E, F, N, D, G, A. There we go, A minor. Maybe I can add in my A string. Amazing, all right. So you can do that all over the place. The next uh, idea is those three notes, G, B, E, you look on the, the diagram of the neck, the notes on the neck, and you find those three notes, three notes, anywhere, anywhere those three notes exist is an E minor chord. It is, it doesn't matter which order the notes are in, it's just those three notes make up E minor. So for instance, let me think, I'm gonna try and play, well, if I go E there, Maybe I'll, hang on, go E there, B there. I need a G, there's a G there. I'll do this one. I can change it, maybe I'll do a, I'm gonna do a stretchy, stupid thing. All right, so there's an E, I'm gonna do a B. Maybe I'll do a B and a G there. Uh, no, I'm gonna have to bar it. That note and those two notes, E minor. Maybe I'll do a G here, I'll do a B there, and maybe an open E. That's an E minor. So anywhere on the neck where you find those notes, it's an E minor. So the next thing I would do would be to take a song that you know in this area, if that's all you got, uh, write down the notes of each one and then find them somewhere else. You don't need to know the theory because the diagram of the neck just gives you everything you really need to know. It's just figure the notes out, find them somewhere else because the guitar is a bit of a bit of a tricky one because the same notes are all over the place. Even in, in this area, you've got three E's, a couple of A's. So every position, you've got multiple of the same notes. So there you go. You can multiply your chords just by trying that. And the more you explore this kind of stuff yourself, rather, being, rather than being told, there's an E minor, there's an E minor seven, there's an E minor nine, there's a blah, 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 blah. You sit there and you're kind of figuring it out for yourself and you're finding chords sounds that you like. Rather than then just playing E minor, maybe you figured one out somewhere up here that sounds mad. Why not? There you go. Pretty short and sweet. I hope you learnt something and uh, see you in the next one.